looking for these muscles, man. Show them the muscles. Look at that, yeah. This is your new king, this Jimmy Hart. The new champion. The baby. new king. The new champion. Come on, show these people the muscles. Look at this, Come people. On, I didn't get much comment about the old king out of you. Look at it. Come on, show them okay. the muscles, man. Look at the back. Is it great or is it great? Well, uh, whatever you say, Jimmy, whatever you say. Mm. What a specimen, huh? Mm -hmm. Moment and a half. That was when Jimmy Hart crowned his first new king. Okay, we've got some more uh, look back down memory lane. We'll be taking a little bit later on. We've also got six-man tag action, and we're going to take time out now, and we'll be back to championship wrestling in just one moment. <laughs> Series Championship Wrestling action here in the ring just a moment. Do want to take time out to remind you about Tuesday night. What a night of action it is going to be, and sure, you better believe a 10-man battle royal that'll have a $1,000 bill as the prize. We'll show you that a little bit later in case you've never seen one. Lots of other matches in there, a couple of singles and some tag matches. There'll be a Southern Tag Team title match, and then the finale is going to be a main event you won't soon forget. Jerry the King Lawler will be facing... Paul Ellering, the big muscle man out of Melrose, Minnesota, that Jimmy Hart has dug up to bring in here against the King. And the rules are that if Jerry can beat Ellering, he'll get Hart not in a single match, but he'll be in there in a, a handicap match with a partner of his choice. But you first got to get past the big muscle man. Well, I'm not even thinking too much about that because I, it's a fact of life. I'm going to get past him. You know, last week... I, I knew there was going to be a referee out on the floor, but I didn't think that he was going to come in and count Jimmy Hart out and stop the match before I got to completely do him in. Well, what I did to him last week was fine, but it was just a little sample, Hart, of what I got in store for you this week. You know, he told the promoters, no way is he going to get back in the ring again with me by himself. Well, this is just as good, Hart, because I thought I proved it to you last week. You went out and you got this dream machine. You said he's the greatest thing since sliced bread and that he was going to be the one that dug, done me in. Well, he turned out to be a one-night wonder for you. He didn't get the job done. Well, Hart, now you've gone and got Paul Ellering, the man who for six months around here, was a, you know, I wasn't even warm in a hospital bed, and I saw you out there on TV putting my crown on his head, calling him the king. Well, let me tell you something, Ellering. For five and a half or six months, all you heard around here was wait till the king gets back. Well, the king is back, and I'm going to prove it to you, Ellering. I'm going to beat you like a dog that you are, and then Hart, you, and I don't care if you get King Kong and Godzilla, bring them out there in the ring because I'm going to beat their brains out, and then I'm going to get to you, Hart, more than five minutes this week. Well, you'll have the opportunity to see that maybe, but for sure, see it. Well, the green machine uh, wanted to start the fall. Je Hanson Jimmy's got to start it. He's the one that got the pin in the first fall. Green's been out there pacing around, pushing yeah. everybody back, but Jimmy is uh, having to start it. Second fall action started underway. First fall, as expected, went to Valiant. Green machine and Tojo Yamamoto. Now, Jimmy is in. Pat Hutchinson, there's a tag on Yamamoto. Chase has just joined us. It's six man tag, two out of three falls. Heavily favored team of the Dream, Tojo and Handsome Jimmy, going against Tom Bailey, Pat Hutchinson, two young and experienced wrestlers. And the third man on that side is Coco Ware. And Jimmy covers. He won't go for the three count, though. First ball went 340. We're about a minute into this one. I get using that hair liberally here. Put it up here. Man, that jarred the table all the way over here. Tojo, another job on Pat Hutchinson. Tojo whips in, big clothesline, handsome Jimmy. And the dream saying, get me, get me, tag me. He wants in. Yeah, he wants in here. He has not been in on this second fall. The dream wants to show the world he can whip the world. Tojo, wham. Hutchinson awfully close to that tag, but just missed it with Coco Ware. Green still hadn't been in there. Again, a tag on a handsome Jimmy. And there is finally a tag on the green machine. 
Woods, and back to the corner, here comes Coco. Coco where? Handsome Jimmy, flailing away on him, the big green, wow, ooh, tag on Maley as he comes through the rope. The dream whips him around, pounds on him with that broad arm and fizz. Whips him down on the deck. Ooh, double stop. Oh, he buried young Tom Bailey. Dream machine up in the air. He's got him right by the throat and fires him down. Flashes down on him, covers him up. Two, three. And there's the second ball of action, Davy, and not unexpected in two straight balls. Yamamoto, a handsome Jimmy, and the dream machine over Coco with his two young partners, Pat Hutchinson and Tom Maley. And the action banging away in the ring as the dream machine not letting go of Tom Maley. Coco had been thrown out, and there goes Maley into the ring apron. Everybody else is out and down on the floor. The winners, Valiant Yamamoto and Dream Machine. 302, the time on the second ball. 302, and in two straight, they are the winners. We got more action. Back to it in a moment. Another six-man tag team match coming up a little bit later on today. Right now, i got a single match. It'll be a one-fall 15-minute time limit match. And introducing, first of all, from Memphis, Tennessee, at 197 pounds, David Price. He's on the right of your screen. Going against him from Jonesboro, Arkansas, 222 pounds, David Oswald. One-fall 15-minute time limit to referee Jerry Calhoun. Okay, coming off, David Price, David Oswald, referee Jerry Calhoun. We are ready at bell time. Here we go. This is a match. A uh, couple of guys that uh, don't have a lot of victories to their credit. Either one of them. And I guess maybe the slight favorite in the match as far as experience goes would have to be David Oswald. He's been, uh, been wrestling a little bit longer than Price. But both of them relatively young wrestlers. Oswald known for taking the shortcut from time to time. Nice wrestling move there, Davey. He went behind uh, David Price, uh, took him off his feet and down, and Price battling back, trying to front face lock him in there and bring him out of the corner, but Oswald slips him. The referee says, let's break and break they do. Get him away from the rope. David Price, David Oswald. Price, round behind. Nice takedown. He lifted Oswald straight up in the air, got him off his feet. Trying to get in position for a cover. Oswald with a foot over the bottom rope. Referee Jerry Calhoun called for gets the break. One minute into the action. Oswald. Side headlock on David Price. Now it goes with a face lock. Look out. Dream machine jumps in here. Going to stop the match right there. Flying over the top rope, David Oswald. Green machine goes to work on David Price. Green machine upset. And he jumps in there, threw Oswald over the top rope, and now working on David Price. Oh! Let's read Jerry Calhoun nailed. Yes, sir. He's going to catch a fine for that one for sure. Green Machine grabs Oswald. He's back up on the apron. Nailed him. Now back to work on David Price again. Green Machine trying to show the world that he can whip the world. And he's in there and no partiality. He's thrown the Oswald out of it and working on David Price. Price really hammered down to the mat. Jerry Calhoun, the referee, he's trying to talk him out of there. He was we can plugged. get him out of there. Yeah. Oh, Calhoun, nailed again by the team machine. Here comes some help. 
Uh, Jimmy Hyde comes in. Long as a dream machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just give that. You go stand at your differences with Jimmy Hart if there is a difference in there. Jimmy Hart trying to get the dream machine out. Tommy Rich, Dundee, Tom Bailey. All were in to break it up and Coco Ware to break it up and get the dream machine out of the ring. They did that in a hurry. He may have been out of place, but he wasn't no fool. He saw all that coming. He got out of there. Hart was trying to get him out of there. So that one will just be a stop, stop match, match in there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We were talking about memory lane and uh, Paul Ellering, the big muscle man.